Now let's review the various attacking combinations you have to work with to force the opponent. To serve and volley is the best way to capitalize on a serve strength. This tactic forces the returner to have to execute with great accuracy under pressure. Your serve must allow you time to position for the first volley and minimize the passing shot opportunities for the opponent. Serving to the tee as your primary target on the serve and volley allows you to limit the returner's options. Remember, the harder you hit the serve, the less time you have to position for the first volley. So learn to complement your power serve with variations of spin and placement. But when you serve wide, be careful, because the passing shot lanes will open up for the returner. Your primary objective on your serve should be focused on getting a high percentage of first serves in play. It is very difficult to maintain your edge when you're living off second serves and double faults. The return and volley combination is most commonly used in second serve situations. When the opponent knows you might attack behind the return, you are applying pressure to their second serve, forcing them to have to execute with much higher quality, leading to more double faults. Using underspin will allow you to adjust the depth of your return with more disguise. As on any approach shot, getting a high percentage in play is very important. Attacking down the line or straight ahead from the middle of the court is the percentage shot selection for the return and volley to allow you to achieve position and time. When the point progresses into the baseline rally, you have several options for setting up forcing situations. If you mix in deep slices and chips into your rally, you'll set up the opportunity to better disguise the use of your drop shots. Forcing the opponent with the drop shot brings them to net on your terms, giving you an easier opportunity to pass and lob. Another option you've seen is to sneak attack using the swinging volley to force your way in off the opponent's deep ground stroke. The short ball opportunities created in the rally allow you the option to attack deep and short off the approach shots. Your primary focus will be to approach deep as you mix in the occasional drop approach. The highest percentage combination is to attack down the line for the setup shots and angle the closing volleys for the put away. Once you hit that attacking shot, is that powerful two or three steps, then the split step, that will enable you to get well inside the service line and angle out your first volley, rather than hitting it north and south. Remember, add a little variation to your approach shot, including the slice. But at times you want to drive, sometimes a little underspin. Once you initiate the attack, you must work to close the point within three or four shots, or the edge will often shift to the opponent. Never assume the point is over until it is absolutely over. Being tenacious means closing strong and giving the opponent no easy points. And no matter how good your approach shot in your first volleys, you'll get a counter punch that'll make you look like you're beginning and you'll say to yourself, that's it for me, I'm not going there anymore. Don't do that. They may be on a hot streak, but as long as you force that counter puncher to hit their best shot, you've accomplished your goal. You just watched an exciting 60-minute video. Watching it is one thing. The attitude that you have being willing to go out and put it into actual play is what counts. You have to try it. You're going to get beat up. You're going to get beat up again. Keep trying. Your attitude will determine whether or not you want to be at the net or stay back at the baseline.